we ran two representative survey rounds among the German population. The first survey was conducted in the week before the World Cup started, and the second round in the days after the opening match was played. We simply compared the answers of our respondents before and after the start of the World Cup to find out whether Germans changed their opinions after the start of the World Cup. We are interested in three potential types of effects. A direct effect on opinions about Qatar directly, a diffuse effect on opinions about the, the Arab region more uh, broadly, and a diffuse effect that is a potential pushback against German media and democratic values. Coming to the results, in short, we find almost no direct benefit for uh, the image of Qatar among German respondents. Uh, so opinions did not change very much from the first round of the survey to the second, except for the item where it says Qatar is treating women as second-class citizens, where after the opening match, people were a little less likely to agree that this is the case. However, we find that the start of the World Cup, uh, respondents viewed the Arab region as a whole in a more positive light. So the other world regions here served as placebo tests. But maybe what's most interesting about the survey is that it shows that people grew significantly more hostile towards the German media itself. So after the start of the World Cup, respondents were more likely to say that German media forced its opinion on people and that the critical reporting on Qatar was too harsh or too much. On top of this, they were more likely to believe that the level of freedom of expression is comparable between Germany and Qatar. And furthermore, we found that Qatar did not reap major short-term image gains in Germany. However, this came at the cost of a quite significant pushback against Germany. So the question is how media should deal with future tournaments in autocracies. And our tentative conclusion or recommendation would be uh, to early announce a boycott among the, the, the media representatives. Uh, this would not only potentially save lives and nerves, but also decrease the incentives for dictators to make a bidding for the next mega sports event in the first place.